Hello Trinity, my name is Adam. I've been at Trinity for around a year and a half now. I've recently just joined the media team and I've been playing keys in the worship bands. Why am I on your screens today? I'm going to be sharing with you 2 Corinthians 5, 11 to 21. The Ministry of Reconciliation. Since then, we know what it is to fear the Lord. We try to persuade others. What we are is plain to God and I hope it is also plain to your conscience. We are not trying to commend ourselves to you again, but are giving you an opportunity to take pride in us so that you can answer those who take pride in what is seen rather than what is in the heart. If we are out of our mind, as some say, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that one died for all and therefore all died. And he died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Now the bit which really stood out to me here was being one of Christ's ambassadors. I've grown up in an age of social media where we see brand ambassadors all the time who try and sell products or promote a company in a positive way. I did some research today and I want to share with you how we can take some of the skills from being a brand ambassador into the same way of being one of Christ's ambassadors. Number one, love and enthusiasm. We love God because he first loved us. He loves the deepest parts of our hearts and his mercy will never fail us. Number two, knowledge. Let's get to know God, let's get to know Jesus and to do that we are gonna need this. Number three, builds communities. God did not create us to live a life alone, he created us to thrive within the church and God speaks through other people to us which can enhance and deepen our faith. That all being said, let's pray. Father God, thank you so much that you've given us the opportunity to be one of Christ's ambassadors. Lord, I also pray that you would show us today in our Zoom groups, in our workplaces, in our alone time, how we can walk in the footsteps of Jesus and how we can also lead others in that direction too. Lord, I also want to pray for the NHS right now and I just pray that you'll keep these health professionals strong. I also pray that um, you help those who are developing a vaccine for COVID right now. In Jesus' name. Amen.